It's one of hip hop's most controversial tracks, NWA's 1988 Fuck the Police. Fuck the police coming straight from the underground. A young nigga got it back cuz I'm brown. And although NWA's 2015 biopic Straight Outta Compton shows the boys being profiled and roughed up by the police before creating the song, that's not how the real story goes. In fact, the song almost didn't happen at all. According to LA Times writer Terry McDermott, when Cube first showed the lyrics to Dre, he passed. It was only after Dre and Easy were caught shooting paintballs at people at Torrance bus stops that Dre changed his mind about the song. Yep, paintball shooting gave us fuck the police. And now, thanks to a clip from the forthcoming HBO doc, The Defiant Ones, that genius contributor Damien Van Beekum shared in an annotation, we know more about this paintball incident, told by the crew themselves. Him and Dre decide to ride down the Harbor Freeway, sticking the paintball shotgun out the fucking window, and pay out, creating havoc on the motherfucking freeway. 10, 15 minutes after that, the police is behind us, pull us out of the car with guns drawn, lay us face down on the freeway, really aggressive in the whole nine, as they should have been. When it came to writing Fuck the Police in the first place, Ice Cube credits Dre's constant trips to jail as the culprit. Weekends with Dr. Dre, you in the club, you partying, the music is banging, you around hip hop, he go to jail, all that stopped. So our weekends was boring, bunk, we was back on the block, we was just not doing nothing. So I was just mad that all the fun stopped and Dre had to go to jail till Monday. So I wrote Fuck the Police. The song, banned from radio station Airplay, caught the attention of the FBI. NWA's label Ruthless Records received a letter from the Bureau condemning the song's lyrics and portrayal of police. That, however, only boosted the song's popularity, and despite protests, bans, and censorship, Fuck the Police rose up Billboard's Hot R&B Hip Hop Songs chart to number 25. The album, Straight Outta Compton, went on to sell 3 million copies, and the term, Fuck the Police, remains prominent in hip hop to this day. All this further solidifying NWA's title as the world's most dangerous rap group. We make our records based on stuff that's happening where we live, you know. And people out there that don't like it, fuck them. 